This week we are looking at prenatal development, which you can find in your book in chapter three. And there is a great video that's coming up uh, next after this PowerPoint that will give you a lot of information on chapter three. And the, but the first, some of the things that I wanted to highlight were um, there are three periods of development. And so the very first period is the period of the zygote. And this is when the egg meets a sperm and it goes up until implantation begins. The period of the embryo is the next period, and this is actually the third to the eighth weeks. And this is actually when most of the changes take place in the embryo. So the most rapid uh, prenatal changes are taking place. There is significant growth in the organs and the body systems, and the embryo is developing three layers, the, endo, the ectoderm, the endoderm, and the mesoderm. The next period of development is the period of the fetus. And the period of the fetus is from nine weeks to about 38 weeks, plus or minus. Uh, this is actually the growth and the finishing stage. So the majority of the, of the work takes place in the embryo stage. And then the fetus is just kind of refining that work. Um, this is uh, when the age, whoops, this is when the age of viability is, um, between 22 and 26 weeks. Of course, outcomes are much better the longer that the fetus is able to stay in the womb. There are a lot of influences on prenatal development and your book goes into a lot of different ones, teratogens, disease, drugs, and environmental hazards. Um, an environmental agent, which can cause damage. And so an example of that would be if you are living by power lines or you are living in a city that has a lot of smog um, as opposed to a rural farm area. So there's going to be, but with a rural farm area, you have other agents that could cause harm, uh, such as pesticides um, being sprayed. So there's a lot of environmental agents um, that can cause uh, fetus damage. And then of course there are sensitive periods within the development and those vary in length. So uh, the harm is not always simple and straightforward. It's not always, oh, don't do this during the th third and fifth week. It can cause harm throughout the uh, life of the pregnancy but there are sensitive periods that it, it harms the most. So here's an example of the sensitive periods. Um, and you can see with the illustrations, um, if you were to take a supplement or some a drug that was given to you by your doctor um, for something that was serious and it could cause uh, some brain damage within the, um, the fetus, they would want to make sure that they didn't give it anywhere between the ninth and the 16th week. So, um, which is the sensitive period. Uh, of course, they don't want to give it any time, but they would be sensitive to the fact that there are sensitive periods within the, the growth and development of the fetus and um, wouldn't want to make sure that they harm during that time. And that is all.